Well, as you know by now, 2 News is your local election headquarters. And today, Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose says this weekend's early voting totals will likely break more records for turnout in our state. And 2 News reporter Adam Rive joins us live to break down the state's efforts with just eight days left in this year's voting period. Adam. Well, some photos circulating online show long lines in Ohio and lengthy waits to cast a ballot. But Secretary LaRose says the likely record turnout will show Ohio's voting process is easy and secure. What we're seeing anecdotally is record breaking participation. A busy weekend throughout the state of Ohio as thousands of people took advantage of the first Saturday and Sunday of the early voting period. I want to see us have uh, the highest turnout election we've ever had. Of course, in many ways, it's the most complex election we've ever, ever had as well because of the health and safety protocols that we've had to put in place. Some of the protocol is complicating the process. In Montgomery County and others, there are fewer voting machines so that voters can spread out more. But that's leading to longer lines in some areas. While the boards insist the lines are moving quickly, social media posts allude to a difficult process. Anybody that says it's hard to vote in Ohio is simply not telling the truth. It's easy to vote in Ohio. It's demonstrably easier to vote in Ohio than almost any other state in the nation. And that's something that we're proud of. And Ohioans are taking advantage of that. Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley was especially critical, telling LaRose on Twitter the long lines are a form of voter suppression. In a back and forth, Whaley criticized LaRose for his lawsuit to limit the number of ballot drop boxes in each county and called for more early voting sites. LaRose says he agrees with the last part, but adds it's not up to him. What we ought to do is, is, is work together to do things like, for example, add more early voting locations per county. That's set in law. That's not a decision that I make, but I've long been an advocate for, for that change. Uh, there's bipartisan support in the legislature. Now, Secretary LaRose says early voting remains at about three times what it was at this time in 2016. The Secretary of State's office is collecting last week's data from the 88 boards of elections. They'll release the newest voting totals tomorrow. In the newsroom, Adam Rye, 5 on 2.